Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. The North Korean leader Kim Jong Un has described Donald Trump as mentally deranged. After the insults, a surprise meeting is to take place between President Trump and the leader of North Korea. The North Korean regime is always tricky. It's, it's sort of like they are really used to playing with the, this game for you know seven decades. When you start negotiating. Remember that the first thing that the North Koreans will do is they will try to seize the agenda. They will try to change what is to be talked about. They will try to change the times of talks just to throw you and your team off balance. It's a really good habit to get into to refer to the country as the DPRK, and not North Korea. It doesn't really cause offence, but their, their point of view is that their government is the rightful controller of the entire peninsula, and labelling them as the country of North Korea kind of undermines that a little bit. Until the regime really denuclearization, everything, every step is very concrete. Until then, America shouldn't stop the sanctions. They will try to redefine terms so that denuclearization for North Korea you'll find means something quite different from what it means for you. And it's quite possible too that as you talk that the meaning of that term will shift. I think from the previous government's the soft policy on North Korea, which it's proved that by now it's not really effective. It's a failed system. Small talk can be a bit, bit stifling at first because you know, there's a lack of common ground. The film Titanic is quite popular and Celine Dion's music as a result as well as Michael Jackson, the popular figures. President Trump shouldn't call Kim Jong Un as a rocket man during the summit meeting. Because this is the summit between two countries. It's not like, you know, they're tweeting on social media together. Remember too that an agreement is not an agreement until the North Koreans say it's an agreement. And even then, it may not be an agreement. North Korean concepts of the deal are rather different from those of the New York real estate market. You know, there isn't a McDonald's in Pyongyang, but uh, the president was, was trying to get his, you know, his daily Big Mac. He may need to have it flown in from Beijing or South Korea. He doesn't want to give up nuclear power, certainly, but he just so want to earn the, heart, the currencies, the US dollars. That's his main goal, to continue his regime. In any negotiation, it's important to have a mixture of sanctions and of incentives, a mixture of carrots and sticks, if you like, to bring to the negotiating table. The North Koreans will certainly be doing that. I think it's important that the United States does likewise.